Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library back with another virtual craft afternoon. And this week we are making belts, something pretty practical. Hindsight, I probably should have called this one learn how to four part braid and we're going to do that with by making a belt. So there's really not a whole lot in your bags this week. You're gonna have a set of yellow and white instructions which will walk you through basically how to do the braiding. And what you will find in your bag is a whole long string of knit fabric. And I have already sewn the ends around two D rings, which is what's gonna be the fastener for your belt. And there are gonna be four different plates on there, which I will now walk you through how to do a four part braid. When you're all finished with your braiding, you can tie the end, you can sew it at home, and if you don't have a machine or you don't have a needle and thread, we've got you covered in our makerspace. You can bring your belt in anytime that we're open and we'll help you put that final seam on there. All right, so let's learn how to four part braid. Now you are gonna get to see a little bit behind the scenes of the room where we do most of our filming for all of our videos. Um, and on your instructions, it'll tell you that basically what we're gonna do is set these D-rings underneath something heavy enough to keep it in place. So I have a nice stack of picture books that are in here. And then I'm gonna have you separate out so you can see all four strands. And we're basically gonna do this in pieces. So I'm gonna take the middle two to start. And it's gonna tell you that you are going to take the left hand strand and you're gonna cross it over the right hand. So now that we've done that, now I'm gonna take a look at the two strands on the left. And we're gonna call them strand one and strand two. And every single time you're looking at these, you're gonna take the one on the outside, strand one, and we're gonna put it underneath strand two. And now that I have that part done, we're gonna take a look at the two that are over here on this side, strands three and strand four. You're gonna take the one on the outside and you're gonna cross it over the top of strand three. And that's gonna bring us back to having two strands in the middle. And we're gonna go left over right, just like we did last time. And then I've got these two on the outside, outside, over the one that's more in the middle. And now that leaves me with two over here and I'm gonna go outside over. And now we're back to those middle pieces again. And the middle pieces are gonna go left over right. Brings us to focus on these, outside under And that brings us back to these, which is gonna be outside over. It's gonna bring us back to these two in the middle. And what we're gonna do with those is we are gonna go left over right. Outside under, outside over. And we've got two in the middle again, left over right. Then we've got these two on the outside. Outside goes under. We look at these two. Outside goes over. Two in the middle. Left over right. Outside under. Outside over. Right. And you can kind of see that pattern starting to take place. And so we're just gonna keep going. Left over right, outside under, outside over. Left over right, outside under, outside over. Left over right, outside under, outside over. Just make sure to keep those ends from tangling, spread them out. Middle goes left over right, outside under, outside over. 
keep them from tangling. And that's pretty much your mantra all the way down. Now there's a lot of belt here. So you can always cut it off about where you need it to be for you. And depends on if you like wearing your belt lower or you like wearing it higher. This can also be used as a strap on a bag that you make. I mean, really it's, you just made a pretty, a pretty decent piece of rope that you can use for anything. Um, I tied a knot in the end of this one um, and that uh, will pass right through those D-rings in order to make it be a belt. So thank you for following along. That is our craft room for today. We're going to have two craft renoons coming up in October. One, we are going to make a little mini stuffed Mothman. And then the second one, we are going to make kind of a creepy looking spell book, uh, you know, Halloween theme. Um, we're also starting to work on something that we're going to be trying that's new in November, and you'll be hearing me talk more about it later, but just to kind of whet your appetites for it, uh, we're going to be doing a subscription box in November. So you guys will get to sort of pick what you want to go in yours, um, and that will be a sign up thing. So keep your eyes peeled for more information coming out on that. Hope you guys have a great week, and uh, I'll see you next month. Bye.